Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. Well, a few weeks ago, I did a video of a 70 mile an hour range test in my Ford Mustang Mach-E. Well, let me throw up a reminder here on the screen on how that ended. All right, guys, here is the final numbers. Uh, we were able to get 188 miles. So it took us about two hours and 50 some odd minutes to do this trip. And our final efficiency number over there is 2.7 miles per kilowatt hour. And that is at 70 miles per hour. So now that we know what it can do at 70 miles per hour, I thought it would be interesting to find out how far it could go at 55 miles per hour. So we're gonna perform this test on a loop. There's just a light wind today, so that's not gonna be a big deal. Uh, the temperature is going to be between 70 and 80 degrees during the test. So let's head out and see how far I can go at 55 miles per hour. So just something interesting before I go. I have never seen the uh, GOM guesso meter say 216 miles before. This is the most I've ever seen. Usually at 100% I get around 200 miles. So let's go ahead and get out on the road. I got quite a few hours ahead of me at 55 miles per hour. I got 216 miles to start. I will see y'all at 75%. Hey guys, well we're not to 75% yet, but I wanted to do a quick check-in because this overpass here, normally I'm at 81% if I'm going 70, 75 miles an hour. Today, I'm at 86%, and I've kind of discovered that this is going to take a long time, guys. I'm 49 minutes into this, and I have gone 38 miles, so we're in for quite some time. I'm going to get to my turnaround point and not even be to 75%. So here we are with the 75% update. This is going to take so much longer than I thought. I have been driving for one hour and 30 minutes. I've gone 75 miles, 4.1 miles per kilowatt hour. So just to get through 50% of the battery is going to be three hours. I knew going uh, 55 miles per hour was going to get me a little bit better mileage but I didn't really consider almost double I usually get mid to low 2 miles per kilowatt hour at 70 so going 55 I'm getting 4.1 miles per kilowatt hour I guess I better just buckle down and prepare for a long day. I'll check in with y'all at 50%. See you then. Well, here is your 50% update. I have been driving for, what we got here? Two hours and 49 minutes. Wow, I am tired of being in the car, and I'm only halfway done. We got 146 miles on the clock, and 4.1 miles per kilowatt hour. So I'm gonna continue on down the road, and I guess I will see y'all in another hour and a half for the 25% update. So this little guy just flew over the road right in front of me. Check that out. Where are you going? Where's he going? Oh, there's a little landing strip over there. That's cool. guys I wanted to come to you real quick I uh, thought of something interesting 
So right now we are at 189 miles and that is what I was able to do basically on my 70 mile per hour range test. So if you look over here, I still have uh, 74 miles of range and 34%. So there you have it, breaking news alert. Going slower in an EV will get you further. <laughs> Time for the 25% check-in. You can see here we are at 25%, have 57 miles of range remaining, and we've been going for four hours, six minutes and 21 seconds. We've covered 214 miles and 4.1 miles per kilowatt hour. Now, this is just a reminder, I drive a Ford Mustang Mach-E Select rear-wheel drive. So this is the base model Mustang Mach-E, just to remind everybody. And normally, I get around 180 to 190 miles of range, but I drive 70 miles per hour a lot out here on the highway since I live in the middle of nowhere. And you can see here, driving 55 miles an hour does have its advantages. I can't believe I have gone so far, but I have. And I'm gonna get back to the other end of the loop again, and I'm gonna have to turn back this way yet again. I will have done three complete loops, and I'm still gonna have to come back and burn off some more. Don't have much more to report here at the 25% check-in besides I'm tired of sitting in my car and I'm kind of thirsty because I've drank all my water that I brought. So, you know, maybe it's a good thing I didn't bring more water. Maybe I'd have to be peeing out the window or something. <laughs> Four hours and eight minutes into this, I am at 24%. I will see y'all at the end and we will find out how many miles I was able to drive. Well, I figured I would come to you one more time. I won't show you the final mileage here, but I'm gonna show you the battery. So I'm at 3% and I'm headed back towards my house right now. So I should be there in seven miles and I have nine miles of battery. I might end this with a mile or two left on the, the meter there. I don't think uh, any of y'all are gonna blame me for that. We'll see how close I dare to get it. Look at my little range bubble right now. It's, uh, it's pretty small. Well guys, we have reached the end. I still have two miles on the guesso meter there, but it has been 0% for a few miles. I think when it said four miles left, it, it changed to 0%. So I'm not sure that I trust it because I've never gotten this kind of kilowatt hours per mile before. The GOM may not quite understand what's going on. So I didn't want to push it to zero miles of range. I'm back in my driveway. So there's our totals, 281 miles in five hours and 29 minutes of driving, 4.1 miles per kilowatt hour. I am ready to get out of this car and go grab some food and get a drink. I will see y'all in a voiceover in just a second to compare some numbers with previous runs. So you can see here the ending numbers for my 55 mile per hour range test. Let me throw up the numbers for the 70 mile per hour range test on the same screen. So you can see them side by side. You can see going 70, we got 188. Going 55, we got 281. Nearly 100 miles extra. 
but look at that time penalty. Goodness gracious. Now just for fun, let me throw up one of my Model 3 long range dual motor 70 mile per hour range tests. Now this was after the car had 21,000 miles on it, so I had about 10% degradation already at this point. But there you go, just for comparison. So the Tesla Model 3 and the Mustang Mach-E have similar battery sizes, but the Mustang Mach-E is much larger and isn't quite as efficient. So you can see that shows there where the Mustang was able to go 188 miles, the Tesla was able to go 247. And I couldn't find the video, but I'm pretty sure I did a range test when I first got my car, and I was able to do around 268, I think. Thanks for hanging out with me and watching this video. I will see you in the next one.